Hey, CrossFitters, welcome back. It's Coach Bob here, CrossFit Glen Burnie. And today in this video, I'm going to share with you a movement we don't see that often, but arguably this movement can possibly help make you better at your barbell movements and also your explosive movements. So it's not a barbell movement. In fact, it's going to be using a kettlebell. Uh, some of you may be familiar with the kettlebell snatch. Um, more of us are probably familiar with the dumbbell snatch. A dumbbell snatch, sometimes you'll see in a workout uh, as opposed to a barbell snatch. And a dumbbell snatch is using a single arm, uh, usually our 35 pound dumbbells or our 50 pound dumbbells. And we know that a movement like that can be metabolically taxing, right? It really helps to build that intensity in our workouts. The kettlebell snatch is similar, and I want to share it with you so that if we were to see it show up in a workout, that you would have some familiarity with it so that you would be able to approach it uh, correctly and hopefully uh, provide some insight into how this movement may, helps to make us better and um, what are the basic elements of the kettlebell snatch. So the first thing I want to do is I want to, I saw uh, Sarah Sigmund's daughter uh, on her Instagram page and in her workout, she was doing some kettlebell snatches. So we're going to start there. Then we're going to go take a look at a couple of the CrossFit videos. We'll point out a few things there on the kettlebell snatch. And then, uh, then I'm going to pull out a fourth video uh, and we'll spend a little bit of time there because uh, in that video, the uh, the presenter breaks down a lot of the different steps and things. And I like to get an outside perspective uh, on the movements that we do so that it's not just all one size fits all. So we get a lot of varied input into these things and help to better improve our overall understanding. So first step is jumping on over to Sarah Sigmund's daughter and... Um, what we have here is uh, Sarah was doing some uh, kettlebell snatches. They're usually performed with one arm. And we can see uh, that it's similar to a kettlebell swing. Now, if it's a dumbbell snatch, right, the dumbbell would be start and return to the ground with each repetition. But a uh, kettlebell snatch is more similar to a hang movement or like a hang snatch or something like that with the barbell. Uh, and it's going, we're always going to have that object. Uh, we're always going to be under tension in some sense where it's not going to, uh, touch and go from the ground. And so, um, yep. So the movement starts with the kettlebell, uh, from the hang position and then, uh, finishes with the Dumbbell locked out overhead in a nice stable position. So thanks, Sarah, for sharing that with us. So we're going to pop that one there. This is the uh, CrossFit uh, CrossFit.com uh, video on the kettlebell snatch. And we have James Hobart demonstrating this. He does a really good job with it, actually. So they got this nice slow, slow-mo version of it. The uh, the hips are back. We're loading the hips and the hamstring. This is predominantly a posterior chain exercise, but we're also focusing on the verticality of it. It's not a uh, dumbbell swing. Notice his elbow is staying generally pretty close to the body. The object, you want to kind of keep it within your area of base. You don't want it swinging way out this way because it's just going to create a lot of angular momentum that you're going it's going to result in that uh, kettlebell slamming your forearm so we'll see if james i think that's basically finishing it up we got one full swing here all the way overhead uh the number of repetitions that we would be performing with a kettlebell uh snatch would usually be a, a higher number uh you know like uh you know 20 30 50 100 something like that uh it's it's kind of designed for that repetition and that in that way you can really and this is why I think one of the big benefits are of the uh, kettlebell snatch is you can refine your your movement for efficiency right so you're not gonna you know you do 50 or 100 repetitions of any movement you're going to get more efficient at it and of course it's uh, the other benefit I like is that it's unilateral so you're using one arm um, at a time. And so, you know, you can kind of uh, find some 
opportunities for improvement. If uh, one side is easier than the other side, then we know that uh, we were when we're training with a um, you know barbell movement or something like that, we may be overcompensating with one side versus the other. Unilateral movement, we're using one side of our body or one arm or the other to do that movement. Okay, I did promise uh, a fourth video to get a little outside interpretation uh, of uh, this movement. So I found this video and I he goes over a lot of the progressions and I'll just kind of uh, go through that uh, just so we have some familiarity. I'm The intent of this is not to go over in great detail uh, the movement, just to kind of point out a few things. And so what he does very well is uh, breaks it down into some really smaller movements for us, right? We've got a got a little bit of a swing and then we're just going to rack it with a little bit of assistance using the other hand. Then uh, he goes for a little higher swing, keeping the elbow close and things like that. And so what you can do is you can really work on those fundamentals that are going to pay big dividends in the end. If we just grab a kettlebell and we try swinging it overhead and catching it, let's say, and I'll even use that word uh, overhead, we're not, we're not likely to be very successful. But if we can break it down into some smaller steps, then uh, then we're going to be able to develop the correct movement. So here we got you know a nice hinge movement, but notice how he kind of scoops under it because he's really going for that vertical movement versus that swing out, right? So if it was just a big hinge, that kettlebell would swing all the way out. Um, but he gets uh, that bend in his knee, ankles, extends, and then that power is delivered a little more vertically in there. And you can kind of see that uh, kettlebell kind of breaks that arc and then as moving up vertically, like right over here. So a lot of the benefits that we get from a movement like this, uh, number one, I'm gonna uh, really have this nice functional movement where I'm gonna be developing that good explosive movement for my hips, much like a kettlebell swing or a dumbbell snatch and our barbell movements. Um, but you have the added benefit here of a movement where, first of all, you're going to likely be doing uh, upwards of 50 or 100 repetitions or a large number, large rep sets with this uh, moderate, light to moderate weight. That's going to help us to develop efficiency in our movement. And uh, when we can be uh, do lots of reps like that and be more efficient, then that's going to help make all of our other movements more efficient because there's going to be a nice skill transfer between them. Uh, the other thing I like about uh, the kettlebell snatch is that it's a one arm movement. So oftentimes when we're doing a movement with a barbell, uh, we may be unknowingly uh, compensating on one side or the other. When we are doing a unilateral movement, one arm or the other arm, um, that you can't hide from that, right? So if one side is lagging a little bit or having difficult uh, difficulty with that movement, then that's going to show up when we're doing these one arm movements. And so in that way, we can start to train the weaker links of our uh, movements and then make everything a little bit better. So guys... Thank you so much for checking in today on this movement with Coach Bob tonight. I do hope you're having a great time and I'm looking forward to seeing each and every one of you in the gym today. Take care and have a good day. Peace.